I mean, I've always recorded myself and, you know, or at least demos, really. And um, I don't like being away from home that much. So I thought at least for, you know, my solo stuff, I could start recording myself at home so I wouldn't have to go to a studio. So, you know, I, I thought like, if I just had my own space that's all mine, you know, I can do things how I want all the time, you know, and then I also, this is my house, so I never have to leave my house, which is awesome, so. My main concern when building it was um, soundproof, because you want to be a good neighbor, you know. We pretty much built another garage inside of this garage, because the walls have to be separated and stuff to kill the wave, the sound waves and all that, you know. I could talk about it for a long time, but you know, it's pretty cool. So these are double doors, open it. A big challenge for the studio was uh, the, um, the HVAC. Um, like you can't just drill holes in the wall and you know have return and send vents. So these are essentially, uh, they're called dead vents. So um, the ducting is in here and it's a insulated maze. So the sound can only go through the vent, but in order for it to escape out of the garage, it has to get through this maze, you know? So no sound can escape. This is a send and it's the same thing. Inside of this is an insulated maze because you know, you can't just cut giant holes in the wall and expect it to be soundproof. You know what I'm saying? It took around like three to four months, I think, to do, which it was funny because when we first started doing it, I told my dad, I was like, oh, I want it to be done in like three months or 12 weeks, I think is what I said, 12 weeks or so three months. And he was like, you're fucking crazy. And my, fortunately for me, my brother got laid off work. So we were out here from like 7 a.m. to midnight every day and we got it done in 12 weeks, you know. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. So this was intended to record solo stuff and you know obviously demo citizen too and all that but when we started doing demos for the new record um i think everybody was like liking how it was sounding just because you just have total freedom you know nick would be like make this sound like that and i'd be like okay boom you know and and i think everybody was like oh and then you know they listened i did my solo record ruby here and it turned out really awesome. And I think everybody's like, oh, like I think we can do this ourselves. And you know, we never have. And we've always recorded with Will Yip and we love Will, but you know, we just really wanted to try something new. When uh, it came time to like figure out what we we're gonna do, everybody was just like, I think we should self record it. You know, and that made me very happy, obviously. You know, <laughs> a lot of people would think it's a little much to take on recording and writing and producing and but I enjoy the stress of it in a way, you know, and it almost, it makes me feel more proud about the, the end product that we all did it ourselves. You know what I'm saying? When I was building it, at least like a big goal was to have, you know, a big goal with the soundproofing was so I could be out here whenever I want. Like if I want to come out here at 4 a.m. and track drums, like I can, you know? And so yeah, when we were doing this record, you know, we would all meet up here I can't remember, 10 or 11 a.m. And they would usually be here till maybe like 8 p.m. And then I would stay out here, you know, maybe like four or five more hours. I figured since I was going all out building this place that, you know, gear wise, there's a lot of things I wanted. And um, I kind of just, I didn't really, um, I just went for it. You know, if I wanted it, I just bought it, got out of the way, I'll never, I, you know, the last thing I wanted to do was buy this mic and be like, okay, I'll buy this mic for now till I get this one. It was kind of just like, I'm getting that one and I'm just getting it over with, you know, and I mean, for these Coles 4038s, I bought a stereo pair of these. This is like the Beatles mic, you know, these ribbon mics. And um, I really wanted a pair of these. There's one right there and one over there. And, um, you know, I think the drums have like a pretty distinct sound on the record and um, I use these as overheads and I, I think it like created a, a pretty cool sound, you know. Um, 
the one thing I did compromise on though is um, there's Will Yip has a mic, the Telefunken U47, and it's like a friggin' million dollar mic. So I looked up um, clones, <laughs> and this is a Warm Audio uh, WA47. And I was like watching a bunch of side by sides, and I was like, I can't fucking tell the difference. So I bought it, and uh, I recorded all the vocals on this mic, you know? So. And it's cool, it has this like little tube thing that you turn on, it makes me feel like pretty cool every time I turn it on, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so this is the control room, if that's what you call it. I don't know studio terminology. This is the computer room. <laughs> oh, this fell off. The whiteboard is essential for progress. It's quite a small one. I know. We didn't really, I mean, I guess we kind of used it. It was pretty much just to make us feel cool, you know? Make us feel more legit. Here's a melodica. You ever seen one of these? I don't have anything to play. But in on the song Clint Eastwood by the Gorillas, he uses one of these. So, it's pretty cool. Have you ever heard that song? <laughs> I like to do sexy lighting, which means I turn off the the boob light and I just have this light, but there's no windows out here. So when you're out here for like 12 hours, you know, you start to zone out. A lot of, a lot of times I'd be editing and I'd be like, oh, and I'll lay right here on the futon, take like an hour nap and I get right back on, you know, so that's what my life is like. Fuck you, Danny Dempsey. Dear God. Matt will do things that are like, that I'm like, what the fuck was yeah. he listening to? Uh, <laughs> Blue Sunday, that's your voice too, right? Like those synth parts? Yeah, that's people. Yeah. Cool. yeah, I can pull that up. Probably. I think something cool about this record is that our approach to songwriting um, changed from like writing everything with vocals and. Um, like writing a song on the acoustic and just like writing the vocals and then building the song around that. It was rat we would start with the drum lines we liked and that's how we would build every song. Citizen relies heavily on a lot of like room sounds and stuff and the cool thing about this song is yeah, everything's just dry, you know, and in your face. And I like Mortal Kombat a lot. So there's like some things that I would take from like, you know, songs I would hear from Mortal Kombat soundtracks like this in particular. This which is pretty cool. If I were to take off the effects that I put on it, it sounds like this. It's just a normal hi-hat. And then I put some delay on it and some distortion, and that's what it sounds like. So there's like a lot of cool stuff like that. There's some glass hits on here. Is that good? All right, like, that's what, I, if you solo that out, it's, that's tapping on a glass with a pencil. Um, this is blowing into a can. I know it doesn't sound like it, but that's literally what it is. It's like a, it's I like, don't. It's like a cake. I, sound. I, I, pr I printed that one down, so I have no idea how it got there. We yeah. don't see this stuff. Yeah. He, I didn't know what any of that was until right now. I like this. I don't know how I had that happen. <laughs> I just pressing buttons and I was like, oh wow, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that's good on the record is accidentally cool. <laughs> Seriously. It's not premeditated. It has no, nothing Blue, to do with Blue anything. Sunday was a big song with it with that too. We were all in here just we wrote we wrote that all together and yeah. we were all in here just messing around and I think there's like a lot of like really cool stuff happening in the background of that song. I can pull it up. Does Matt ever get angry when he's like editing? Um, only at Steve's mistakes. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. When he when he can't quantize things properly, you know. Then he gets pissed. So, what I did was, I went very slow, and then I pulled it all together. So this is what it sounds like. 
That's just my voice. And then I put decapitator on it. Of course. Classic. And then some compression. And then I put it into Melodyne. And I think me and Nick sat there and chose the notes that it went to, which it ended up sounding like this. Which some of those are off key. Like that one, yeah. But it sounds cool, so. So really, that's just me doing two notes, and then we popped in the computer and, you know, mess around with it. You can't replicate something like that on a keyboard. Like, I could go to a, a Nord preset and do something like that, and, you know, and that would probably be way more convenient for us. Yeah. But, um, you know, it just kind of gives it a bit more personality. Um, Nick has this cool pedal. I don't know what it's called, but um, we did this, like, really cool layer over it. Like, there's no effects on my part with that. That's just his pedal. I have no idea how he did that. I don't think he does either. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. I mean, I just totally fucked up a part. And we just thought it was cool. And, yeah. we, just, and we just left it. very sloppy sounding and terrible and like really bad at guitar it's but disgusting. like <laughs> but when it's in the actual song it sounds pretty cool like yeah. it's unmixed this is you know i thought i thought these vocals here i don't even know what i did but i did something weird to make them sound kind of weird kick me down mess me up uh, it's kind of cool. It's like there's like no resonance, but there's like you know they like slap delay. I put this in the demo, not thinking it was gonna make it into the actual song. I just didn't literally didn't know what to do, and nobody said anything about it, so I just <laughs> left it in there. <laughs> nobody was like that's stupid. So just, I was like, we just, we just it, thought it. We just said it to each other. And yeah, said. didn't tell me. <laughs> so there's this like little background vocals. Once again, this is not the mixed version. This is what we sent to Mark. Oh, that's <laughs> that sounds so stupid. <laughs> well, it's kind of cool in the actual song, you know, I don't know. God. Yeah. <laughs>